Scorpio singles welcome to the beautiful downtown studios in Cancun Mexico <laughs> and uh, yeah I've got the camera on top of a oyster toaster box uh, <laughs> I told someone it's high tech am I and this is my tech <laughs> you do the best you can for what you got to work with sometimes so hopefully you can hear this okay now that's the main thing and you can see it and you know what for the love of God man it's just a tarot reading after all <laughs> so this is a, a predictive read I call it meet your soulmate Scorpios uh, for the first half of December we'll call it um, I'm just gonna pull eight cards I'm gonna try to really identify your soulmate and recognize them we'll look at their astrology too try to pull some personal history some stories a little bit about I'm more internal so more than their looks will be focusing on psychology behavior personal history and we'll look for some astrological signs so keep that in mind as we go along so king of swords uh, Scorps this is in your person's uh, where I see their moon in their emotional area here wow talk about the moon the moon um, it leaves me with a bit of a decision since the moon card is literally the Pisces card because um, here's where I'm going to see the moon I see the childhood um, their emotional nature here's the intellectual let me pull that three of wands okay Aries Sun I'm saying what we're going to have here in a page of cups and this page is looking back at that moon so there are Pisces moon and they are an Aries sun so um, so was my girlfriend <laughs> congratulations guys so Scorpio um, it's an amazing combination but of course the moon and the sun are not everything they are a large part and um, they're obviously at odds um, but you know it, it, it could be a balance here you know, and with this King of Swords coming with the moon, I think this person has a Mercury um, in Aquarius now that's particularly um, powerful. Mm -hmm. Mercury in Aquarius, uh, and then a Pisces moon, and then a Sun in Aries. So, you know, the way the chart works, it's going to be very important where that is, what quadrant of their chart that is, the uh, beginning, the you know, uh, is it um, nocturnal, uh, diurnal? So, but I think we're going to see that for sure. Um, and the fact that they've got the Page of Cups offering the cup back to the moon, this is all in the unconscious energy. Up here, I'll see these four cards are more conscious energy. Down here, we'll see the more unconscious energy. Um, with them but I think it shows some kind of relationship with the mother and um, you know your person I look through the stories they would tell and, and I don't see anything wrong really you know with the moon and the king of swords um, there might have been some kind of disconnect with the mom and the dad something kind of unseen one of them subtle things would definitely be nothing that anyone would see from the outside of the relationship maybe one was really emotionally unavailable and one was a lot more emotional that kind of thing but um, my guess is the mother was more emotional because the moon represents the mother um, and they seem to be relating to their mother so um, I'm not really prepared to say this is a mama's boy and there's mama's girls uh -huh. now it's a little bit of as a guy I'm just gonna call this out how come when a woman's close to mom, it's cool. It's like, wow, they got this great relationship. When the guy's close to his mom, like, oh, mom's boy, something going on. So, I kind of buy it myself, though. Isn't it weird? But this person's going to have a good relationship with their mom. It, and the emotional nature of the relationship with the mom was very important to them as they were growing up here. And also I see with the Aries, even this Aries card, normally the Three of Wands, um, <clears throat> you know, at least you're on the shoreline. You're kind of like this one's kind of a this whole deck here, the ethereal visions, illuminated tarot. It's a little more contemplative, many positions. 
Um, and so this um, this is not an, an Aries that makes quick decisions, <coughs> that acts uh, brashly. But I think they will display with um, Aries energy when you meet them. Meaning they're kind of bright, they're energetic, they'll be looking right at you. Um, they're probably pretty social. With the Three of Wands, even though it's Wands, I still always think of the third house. Think of movement, think of action. This could literally be someone who kind of fidgets when they sit and that kind of thing. Um, and they, um, they may use their hands a lot when they talk to demonstrative let's put it that way now look we're coming in here with the uh, Aries Sun this is the Sagittarius card and this is going to represent Venus um, that's not going to happen for a reason to do not with astrology but astronomy ten of cups they're also coming in with the ten of cups in terms of emotion and this is going to be their Mars energy so I think we're looking at a Mars and Pisces with Ten of Cups. It's just such a beautiful Ten of Cups in the Ethereal Visions deck, I'd say. Um, um, but, you know, so they have a Pisces Moon and they have a Pisces Mars. Uh, I don't get the feeling they're conjunct, but they're going to be, you know, they're in the same sign. Um, put it that way. Um, so we're getting a pretty good picture. Now, with Temperance, the Sag energy coming in, uh, Patience... Um, and fire in terms of the Venus energy I think it's most likely to be another it's an Aries Venus an Aries Sun and an Aries Venus so you know it's an interesting mixture you have the feminine the daughter mixed with the masculine the father the Sun and Venus and you have the masculine Mars and the mother the moon the feminine uh, mixed here at the unconscious level um, but especially now with Venus here they would be uh, almost charismatic but I think rather charming about it too um, this person let's see what we get for lifestyle core values here wow the world coming up in the lifestyle core values and the Eight of Wands. So I think when you have the world here, uh, this is going to show someone, I, I don't see this so much as a movement reading of someone's life as almost kind of a snapshot like of their natal chart, but given how they're put together here, um, I think over time, this is probably a mature person, they're coming in as a king, male or female, that's not the point. But someone that's mature, someone that's lived life, that's earned um, um, a high place. Just looking at the cards too, temperance in the world. You know, it was by balancing things out that they got the world. They moved up to some level uh, where they've leveled up. And then with the eight of wands down here at the core, I see someone that uh, whatever it is they do, uh, they you could say that they do it for the world. It's not just a nine to five, it's not retail. Um, it's something that's important they feel there probably involves travel a lot of long-distance communication something they're passionate about whatever this person does Scorpio it's exactly the kind of thing that they would do it wouldn't and I think they make money off of it you know but even if they didn't it's like they would do this this is like their passion and they've obtained in this field whatever it is about the highest level let's put it that way that you could have um, so, uh, I hope that's helpful. It gives you something to go on. It's meant to be a predictive read. So this is someone you probably haven't met yet, but it is now the 2nd of December as I get this out. And this is for the first half of December. So this is someone you're going to see coming in. Let me know when you do. Thank you guys.